So in this example, we're going to demonstrate one technique to animate an object, in this case our field, uh, in our window or in our card. So I'm going to double click this to start it up. It's going to start up and what I'm going to do is just essentially play it for you one time. So I'm going to click this button and, and you know, initiate that script or that code and what you'll see happen is the field will actually change in size. It'll get smaller, square, change color to black and then we're going to go ahead and add some text. We're going to resize the field, add some text, change it back into that square and then animate it moving across your um, screen across this little white screen. So let's start this and you'll see it work. So it's providing some info up there. It's going to resize in a minute. Changes it to a square. Resets it to the original size. Put some more text in there. Then it's going to animate from left to right across the card. And that's pretty much all it does. So let's take a look at the script to see how that was done. So I'm going to double click this. It's going to open up the property inspector. I'm going to go to the triangle, click edit script, and then we'll move this down a bit and make it a little bigger. And I'll scroll up and you'll see now that um, at the very beginning of this, so on mouse up, it's going to put the location of the field into a variable. So every object on your card, every object, whether it's a button or an graphic or a picture or a photograph or a field, it has certain properties and one of those properties that it has is its location. So we're storing the location of this field where it's at right now because when, when we store that information in a variable, in, in this case this variable, t original location, we can always go back and set this particular field back to its original location by because we've saved the original location. We don't have to remember what its coordinates were or anything like that. We can store those coordinates and then use them later on during the, the script or during the code. So what it does is it puts the current height of the window, it puts the current width of the window, um, it puts the height of the field, and it puts the width of the field, so it's storing how high and how wide the card field is, in this case this field. So again, just like with its location, at a later time we can put its width and its height back to how it was when it started. So then over here in the script you'll notice that um, um, we're putting the stack width into T width and X and height and return to the card field 1. So we're actually putting the text here. It says the stack width window is, and I think it was like 460 by 220 or something like that. It's waiting two seconds, then it's putting more text in the script, and then it's waiting two more seconds, and then it's going to animate that script, all right? And then it sets the width of the card, the card field 1, so the width, the area across the card field, to 40 and it sets the height of the card field to 40, so that's going to essentially create a square. It sets the background color of it to black, and you saw that happen. Then what we do is we hide the object, so we can show and hide objects. So we're hiding the object, in this case the card field. We're waiting one second, and then we're setting the height and width back to the original size. We're putting some more script into that uh, text field. right? You can see it here into that card field. Then we're going to show that card field after we've gone ahead and resized it. Then we're going to, you're seeing lock and unlock. Those are things you'll learn about later. I wouldn't worry about them right now. We're waiting three seconds. We're hiding the card field again. We're changing it back into a square by setting its height to 40 and its width to 40. And we're changing its background color back to black. Then we're setting the location of the field to 40, 40. And when, when you look at your window or when, you, when you're developing a project, your project is essentially um, a series of pixels all the way across. And the way we measure that is in the top left corner, that's usually, usually zero, zero. And the numbers get bigger as you go to the right. And as you go down, the numbers go, get bigger. So in this case, we're saying set this card field to the location of 40, 40. So that would probably be 40 pixels off the corner and then 40 pixels down, probably right about in this area. So we're going to set the location of that little field now, which is a square, to 40, 40. And then what we do in this script is we're going to move that card field or move that object from its starting place of 40, 40 to 375, 40. 
So it goes all the way over here to 375.40, right? It stays in a straight line because it's not going down any. It's just going over to the right. And then we're waiting one second. We're hiding it. Then we're setting it back into its original location. We're setting it to its original width. We're giving its original height. And we're setting the background color back to white. And that way it looks like it's, it ends where it started. So we'll do it one more time just to demonstrate it. And you'll see it go through again. So there's the original size, 400 by 250. It's a square. We resize it back to a field. We put more text into it. We change the location and then we move it to 37540. And then we reset all the settings back to how it was when we started.